Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. <clears throat> Ooh, ouch. The overall energy for the reading, the tower. Something's shaken up. It doesn't have to be bad, so no concerns yet. We'll see where it goes. But something seems to be shaking. In the recent past, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, really determined to build up, to create something stable, or to start at least heading in that direction of let me let me create something here. Let, let me make something happen. And really stubborn about it. Like, no, I'm going to do it. Uh, so I don't know what this is. It could be that you started a new business. You may, I, I don't know. It's something that looks creative in that department of your uh, surrounding, your material world. In the current situation, the King of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Well, there's some attraction here there's some big attraction there's some love that's being desired but there's heaviness tied up to it so i have no idea what this is about quite yet but we'll see in the immediate future the ten of cups the seven of cups the six of pentacles really searching for love here in a moving on kind of way um hmm. It's that equal give and take energy. It's, yeah, I'm looking for love, but I want love to give back at the same time. So, okay. Let's let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the tower. <clears throat> the Empress, the Page of Pentacles, the Magician. How is that a tower? What happened? So I feel like you're trying to manifest, huh? Hmm. <laughs> what are you trying to manifest here? It's tied up to another energy. And because it's tied up to an energy, it depends on how you're trying to manifest this. Either you're trying to manifest a person directly, like it has to be them and only them, universe, please. There's something tied up to your manifestation in regards to another energy. Um, that interferes with someone's free will. So if that's the case here, I can understand the tower. The universe is responding, but it's not responding necessarily nicely. Um, so it almost feels like it blows up in your face kind of thing. Hmm. Of course, this could be someone tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you, but let's see. Uh, uh, um, boom, boom. Four of pentacles in the recent past. And you've got four cards and I'm going to leave them all right here. The Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, the f for, the, for the Four of Pentacles, you get the Tower, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and you get the extra card, which is the King of Pentacles, which is right next to it. So, okay, reinforcement here. Something happened here. Something happened, but I feel like something uh, almost shifted in, in the way you started to pursue something tied up to either your job or something in your material world there's there's a sense of gaining that that um, energy of i can do this there's a whole lot of healing that came through in this situation and there's a whole lot of i'm actually able to do this and confidence in yourself to that extent now i don't know if you built anything or not it does look with the seven of pentacles that you started working on something here um but that's not even necessarily the point. It's the energy that's coming to the table. And it's a pretty secure one. And something, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen you in this energy of confidence in that place, like real confidence, really sinking in and really feeling it like, I can do this, you know? 
Hmm, I like. Uh, let's do the Seven of Pentacles. Let's 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 dig in. Let's see if uh, there's more to it. The Emperor, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, stepping into your power here. I see you. So I see you gaining this confidence overall. It, it almost feels like over every area in your life, you're all set. You're all good. You're confident. You know what you want. You know what's up. There's this little energy of love popping up. You know, very little. Very, yeah, love. I'm here. Hey. Um, whenever that shows up, I see you kind of like, eh, no, thank you. Not that you're refusing it consciously. Something within you is saying, eh. Which is telling me that something is unresolved there because, again, every little aspect kind of falls into, into its place. It's like, okay, everything's set here. What is it with you and love that makes you go the opposite direction? The energy of love. You know? So, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the King of Wands in the current situation. The hangman, the lovers, the queen of cups. Okay, so there's definitely a connection here. There's definitely a whole lot of love being felt. It feels quite intense, actually. It's not only, oh, I love you. It's more than that. Um, yes, the love is here. Yes, the passion is here. There's more to it than that. In terms of how it feels like one of those things that you cannot get rid of, you know? Uh, I don't see any movement on your part when it comes to the situation, though. I see the situation being here. I see you uh, feeling it intensely, but not really moving um, from or towards this energy. Let's do the Two of Cups. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Interesting interesting because it's a very similar energy to the one in the past where the energy of love itself shows up even though everything is fine everywhere else in your life fine, as fine as it can be right the only one thing that i see you stepping away from is love and that comes in as an energy not that you did it once or that you did it you know every time love shows up oops let me slowly but surely move away from it uh, and you're kind of doing the same thing. So there's something with the possibility of coming together. There, there could be a friendship here or something where, uh, you know, let's, let's see where this is going to go or something. It doesn't show up as a relationship relationship. Um, we'll call it a tryout. I, I don't even know what to call it. Because underneath, there is love, but that's not coming to the surface. To the surface, there comes this sense of, hey, what's up? You want to go grab a coffee or, you know, something like that. Um, and it seems to be open, energetically at least. I feel like physically too, not too open physically, but it seems to be, there seems to be that exchange of energy here happening. Uh, <laughs> the Seven of Swords shows up. You know, when love knocks at your door, it's like, hey, um... I'm busy right now. I gotta go in the opposite direction. I'll I'll revisit you. But right now I gotta go. Why? What makes you go? What makes you go? Let's do the Ten of Wands. The Five of Wands, the Death card, the Temperance. Conflict makes you go. Um, there could be somewhere within you, infiltrated, a uh, belief. Uh, <laughs> it's usually the, the fear of all things ending eventually. It's usually that whole sense of, oh my God, they're going to leave, or I'm going to leave, or someone's going to leave, so something's going to happen here. Um, for you, it's not necessarily that. It's more like... It's gonna break eventually. You know, yeah, there's love, there's butterflies, there's all good things, but at some point we're gonna see each other as each other's worst enemy and all hell is gonna break loose. 
that you picked up from somewhere. I don't know from where you picked it up from somewhere. Either it happened before and that remained your story for your whole life. Like every situation I get into, even though it starts with butterflies and unicorns and fluffy clouds, it ends with us kind of against one another, you know? Huh. So that's why you have the tendency that when love comes in for you to actually walk away from it, even if you don't do it physically. That's actually what's making this conflict come to the surface eventually, because you don't do it. You don't listen to yourself when you say to yourself, conflict is going to come in. Um, so you're kind of just waiting for conflict so that you can prove yourself that you were right about it. It's very subtle. Um, I hate it when it's so subtle and I have no real tools to explain it. Because I see the energies moving and forming and shifting and going to where, but then I'm like, how the hell do I translate that? So, let's see the Ten of Cups in the immediate future. <clears throat> Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. So there's a soul connection that's popping in. There's that initial rejection to it. But then there's, hey, let's give it a try kind of thing. Why do I have a sense it's not tied up to this one that you're experiencing now? And I feel like this is something else. Um... Uh, it, it, it's, I don't think it's romantic, but I think it's something that might teach you to get past that rejection of yours that you have towards love, because it does come in with love. It is a soul connection. So even if it's a friend, there's going to be love in there. So it's like, I feel like this situation right here is kind of showing up to, to possibly open up that door for you of, let me see what this is. Let me see what this belief of mine is somehow i don't know i kind of see it like that um let's do the seven of cups in the immediate future <clears throat> ten of wands the judgment card the knight of wands uh, decision is coming up on your side uh Ah, oh, man, and this decision, like, it would be easy for me to say, like, oh, you're walking away from this situation. You're not walking away from the situation. You're walking away from the energy that needs healing within the situation. And that energy belongs to you. So it's like you're almost seeing it. And then you're like, okay, let's, let's move past it. Let's, let's move right along. It's okay. It's not going to harm us. Maybe it's not time for this energy to come out to be healed. Hmm. Let's do the Six of Pentacles in the immediate future. Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, Page of Wands. You're waiting here for a situation to go back to normal, to stabilize, to, to, to be balanced. But I feel like not much is happening. Um, now I wonder if the situation you're dealing with has conflict in it. And I wonder if you look back, back, way back, to a time where you might have associated love with conflict with whatever happens here even though there's you know those butterflies and everything to it it'll end up in conflict anyway because you're showing me here at the end of this reading that you're kind of waiting you're 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 trying to fix the conflict not much or i feel like you may not have the participation from the other side but um there's some conflict that's shown up here all of a sudden that you're waiting for it to be resolved and I'm like, you know, looking at these energies, I'm like, oh man, and I don't, I, you know, I don't want to kind of grab you by your collar and say, Gemini, you brought this conflict in with your fear of it, because you're going to be like, no, they did it. 
it's their fault. But it's here, it's showing up like that here. So I'm not gonna be rough about it. I'm not gonna grab you by the color, but I'm gonna tell you, Gemini, you brought this conflict here with your fear. Okay, that's said and done. Um, let's see what the universe has. The High Priestess, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Okay. Okay. I feel like for some reason the universe is showing me that you're uh, in tune with your intuition. That's of importance here. It might help you figure things out. I feel like it's one of those things where you're trying to figure it out and again, you, you kind of miss it. You kind of go like just around the topic, just around the energy that's there to, to create all of this situation for you. But your intuition is here. So it feels like when you want to miss it now, then is the time to listen to your intuition because it's here. It's here for a reason. It's open for a reason. It's pointing you somewhere. Uh, the problem is you're acting, even though your intuition is here, uh, you're acting a lot from this Queen of Swords energy, which is going to try to lead you by logic. Intuition, most of the times, it's not going to show up as being logic. So pay attention to that. You know, where you feel something, truly feel it from your intuition or where your mind is going to try to take you. Because uh, that could be the struggle here and you trying to identify what the hell the issue is here. You know? So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.